We're going to talk a little bit about fouls and uh, a few other things just to kind of make sure we're all working together on penalties and, and that we have successful outcomes and making sure we're getting big penalties. Just calling fouls as normal, okay? I have up there at the top, FO plus UL equals foul. And my, my reason for doing that is what we talked about a little bit sooner. A lot of these fouls are two parts. See the, act, see the foul, see the action, decide if it's a penalty, enough for a penalty, and then look and see if it has an advantage. Make sure you understand the timing aspect of it. Uh, you know, uh, defensive holding. Has the quarterback already been sacked? So you want to see the action, look back and see if it has an effect on the play. So that's really what I'm getting about here. It, most fouls involve a second component. And if all you're doing is reacting on the first component, then you're not gonna be as successful as you need to see. So we're seeing the action, we're judging on that action, and then we are going to understand the effect that that action has on the play to decide if it is advantage or disadvantage. And these are some, some things that could uh, have an influence on whether or not we're going to call it as a foul. The timing, is a quarterback sack? Is the ball in the end zone? Is it a fair catch? Uh, is it at the point of attack or is it away from the point of attack? Um, you know, where is, where is the ball on the field or is the ball already in the air for pass interference? Uh, or, you know, is it a broken play? Now, you know, there's multiple actions that are involved. So, you know, again, I'm gonna drill it in again and again, because I know with young officials, the tendency is to see action and throw a flag. And really what I'm asking you to do is slow down. Slow down, make sure it's got an effect. 